Well hello and welcome to my latest video. A serious subject today and we're talking about uh, mountain bikes and I want to give you uh, half a dozen reasons why you should not buy a mountain bike. Now let's start with the obvious. First of all if you live in uh, Kent, southern England as I do, there are no mountains. Okay, take it from me, there are no mountains. I went on um, chat GPT, you know this, this AI thing, artificial intelligence that's going to transform the human race both for the better and for the worse, as if we can't do that ourselves. And I said to chat GPT, what is the toughest cycling climb in southern England? Because I wanted to, you know, test my climbing legs. You know what it came back with? Ox Hill. Box fucking hill. Now, if you haven't heard of Box Hill, you're not a cyclist. Box Hill, well, first of all, the clue is in the name. It's not a mountain. The second thing is, the clue is in the name. It's not a hill. I've had boils on my arse that are bigger than Box Hill. And ChatGPT, forget it. So, if you're looking for mountains in southern England, you think, I know, I'm going to get a mountain bike, I'm going to ride the mountains. There ain't no mountains. So the second reason is, you know, oh, I want to get a mountain bike, I want to get off road, I want to get on the trails, I want to go, you know, uh, through the woods, through the forests, I want to go along rutted tracks. No, you don't. No, you don't. It, it's uncomfortable, right? It's muddy. There's, there's people with dogs. There's grandparents, there's push chairs, there's kids, there's hazards, there's obstacles, right? It's take it from me, I've tried it, you know, I've been there, it's not a lot of fun, right? You think you want to get off road, you don't want to get off road. You want to stay on the road. That's where the fun is. Okay, the third reason is, and this is this is where it gets serious, and the reason is death. Okay. Now I've done uh, four mountain bike rides and so far I've fallen off four times. Now the first time, well it was fairly innocent, I couldn't get my feet out of the cleats. I was, you, you might say, well why are you using cleats on a mountain bike? Good question. Bought it second hand, had cleats on it, couldn't get my foot out, came down. Oh, I, I wasn't badly hurt, pride was hurt so forth. Second time I was going through this gate, and I don't know if you've noticed, but mountain bike handlebars, they are fucking wide. I mean, they're wide as the Sargasso Sea. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, I was going through a gate that was about three foot wide. My handlebars were like seven feet wide. I mean, they're bigger than a vulture's wings. Could I get through? Well, of course I fucking couldn't. So I went down, flat on my face, busted me, wahoo. Now you might think, well, you know, Julian, you can't blame the mountain bike for that. I mean, I'd blame stupidity if I was going to blame anything else. Anyway, the third thing, right, I was going through the woods, right, going through the woods, and it was muddy, right, believe it or not. It had been raining, a lot of mud. I thought I'd go round the side. Went round the side, couldn't get through a gap where the trees were, came off the bike, landed in the mud, okay. Got a bit dirty, wasn't hurt. You're saying, Julian, you know, it happens. What? Fourth, fourth accident, this was serious. I was going through the woods, came to this really steep, steep drop. It was about like 140 degrees straight down. It was only for about two feet, but I mean, it was a, it was a drop. There was tree roots, there was rocks, there was all sorts. Now, I've done it before, I've done it before, no problem. This time, could I do it? Do like fuck. Went over the top of the hand of Mars, came down on the ground, and not only that, got my leg like somehow trapped either between here or like that where the handlebars squeezed it. So I've got massive great hematomas on my right leg. It's sore as a bastard. I can hardly walk. I'm going to be off the bike till about 2027, 20, something like that. So I came. You're going to say, what, Julian, you know, you hurt yourself. You weren't close to death. I'm 68 for fuck's sake. What do you think? You know, what do you think? Anyway, I was, went for a coffee with my mate John, like, and of course, I was telling him about all this accident. He said, Julian, you're 68, man. Why are you going out on a mountain bike? I said, I love it. Absolutely love it. He said, take it from me. Here's a couple of reasons why you don't want a mountain bike. And that was one of the reasons. So the next reason is kit. Okay. Now, you know, if you're a cyclist like me, you're a road cyclist, you've got to buy all the road cyclist kit, haven't you? 
I mean, you just got to. You get into gravel riding, you've got to buy all the stuff for gravel riding, you know, bike packing, even though you never go bike packing, you know, special tops, special gravel shorts, you know, with pockets that you look like a light knob in. Of course you do. Brompton, I got Brompton, got all the kit for the Brompton, got a special helmet for the Brompton, because you can't ride a normal road helmet, not you wear a helmet at all on the Brompton. So, but now mountain bike, you've got to buy more kit like this Pearl Izumi mountain bike tour. Okay, it was second hand, it was on vintage, but I really like it. Bought shorts, bought three pairs of shorts, you know, baggy shorts. I bought other tops. I've got a helmet, you know, I look like a white twain. I never wear it because I just don't like it, but it's a mountain bike helmet, so you've got to get all the kit. And then the other reason, of course, is that, I mean, you got into mountain, no, you got into gravel biking, right? Because everybody told you gravel biking, that's the thing. Forget going on the roads, ride on the gravel, that's where you're having the fun. You've got, you've got wide tyres, you've got low gears, you've got different geometry, much more fun than going on a road bike. And, and mountain biking is for, it's for hippies and wankers and, you know, left-wing agitators and liberals and vegans and play people like that. You don't want a mountain bike. So, of course, you think, no. And I had a man, I've got a gravel bike, actually. I've got a couple of gravel bikes. But I never went on the gravel because I couldn't find any gravel. I live in southern England. There is no gravel. So I thought, I know what I want. What I really, really want is a mountain bike. So I've got a mountain bike. And so I want a mountain bike. I really don't want a bike. I want to go back. I want to forget the mountain bike. I want to forget the bomb I want to forget the gravel bike. I want to get back on the road. I want to start... You know, I still want to start going for PBs. I want to start racing. I want to start, you know, dueling with um, um, the, 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 the F-16 going overhead, They're going after the rioters in Sunderland or whatever it is. But I mean, you know, you're going along the road, you're jousting with BMWs and Audis and VWs. You take your life in your hands. I mean, I've been a road cyclist for like 12, 13 years. I think I came off once. I've been a mountain biker uh, for three weeks. I've crashed four times, nearly broke my fucking leg. I mean, go figure. So if you want a mountain bike, we don't want a mountain bike. And then the other thing, right, is reason number, I don't know, five or six or whatever it is. You got to say, well, what mountain bike do you buy? Do you buy a hardtail? Do you buy a, an XC bike? Do you buy a full sus? Do you buy an electric bike? Do you buy this? Do you buy that? Do you buy a buck of vegan Surrey Hills, uh, Pashley Manor, Pease Lake, um, special trek, specialised S Works, whatever it is, mountain bike? You know, do you pay another eight grand or nine grand or something or whatever? And yeah, the other thing, okay, this is reason number six or seven, and this is probably the most important reason. Okay, you can't ride this thing on the road, okay? It's too slow, it's too uncomfortable, you look like a twat in your mountain biking gear. So you've got to get somewhere in order to ride your mountain bike, yeah? You've got to get off off the road into the trails or the hills or the, you know, the Surrey Hills or whatever it is. Well, you can't get there unless you've got a car, right? And you can't get this bus in a car, are you kidding me? I mean, I, I tried to get this in my car, I took the front wheel off, I took the rear wheel off, I, I took the, the seat post off, I took the handlebars off, I took the pedals off, I took the cranks off, got to wherever it was, peace, I couldn't put the fucking thing back together, can you imagine? So all I had to do was get back in the car, turn around and go home, and everyone said, Please, like man, how do you get on? It's wonderful, isn't it? I, said, I couldn't do it. I couldn't put the bike back together. I mean, look at the bits that are in the back of the car. And people said, well, you, know, you shouldn't have done it. You should have, should have stuck to gravel riding, or you should have stuck to, to road riding, or you should have stuck to endurance riding, or you should have stuck to, to the Brompton or the Molten, you know, which I'm trying to sell and nobody wants. I mean, I'm, I've got all these bikes, and all I've got is like seven reasons to do this and seven reasons to do that and seven reasons to do that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right. I'm going to do. I'm going to get an electric scooter, right? I mean, you see the lads, man. Right? It's mostly the lads, isn't it? They're going down the road on the electric scooter. I mean, they're bowling along. They're going like 40 mile an hour, and they look like they're having so much fun. And they never get knocked off because the car drivers they love them. Why? So I'm going to get myself an electric scooter. I'm going to ditch the mountain bike because let's face it, I'm not going to see 70 at this rate. I'm not going to see 69 at this rate. So, you know, if you want a mountain bike, you know, Trek, Excalibur, 9, a little bit scratched because I've had, you know, a few, ac a few accidents, make me an offer. Make me an offer. You may get it, but until then, take it from me. You don't want a mountain bike. Seriously. 
you know, I didn't want a mountain bike. And now that I've got one, I don't want a mountain bike. So, there you are. Cycling. Who's, who wants to do cycling? You know what Andy Murray said? Never liked tennis anyway. I feel like Andy Murray. Not that I was, you know, any good as a tennis player. Actually, I was a wise. Probably a better tennis player than I was a cyclist. Never fell off and nearly broke my fucking neck, at least, anyway. So, there you are. I never liked cyclists anyway. I'm going to pack it in. Thanks for watching. See you next time.